Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. All right, let's talk about bat lag versus bat drag. Before we get more into today's instructional video, this video is brought to you by Rucket Sports. Rucket makes top quality baseball gear and equipment. We use all of their stuff with our Antonelli baseball teams. If you'd like to learn more, check out rucket.com. Click the link in our bio or in the description box below. Big issue I see with hitters, especially young hitters, I get this question a lot. A lot of people when looking at swings, either their son's swing, their, their uh, player or student swing, um, or their own swing, they are unable to see this move and figure out how to get rid of it. And like I said, it's a really common problem. So real quick, let me show you what bat lag looks like, which we actually do want. We want the barrel to be lagged back because as I release the barrel into the ball, I'm gonna be in the zone for a long period of time. And the goal is to get my barrel turned behind the ball as, as early as possible. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. But that's what we want. That drag is where my barrel doesn't get to the zone it takes a long time to get to the zone. And so now the barrel is dragging and I'm gonna show you why that is. Usually it's this rear elbow getting in front, right? So again, bat lag, the barrel gets turned behind the ball, but I do so quickly. So it turns quick behind the ball. I wanna be as quick as I can from the point I say go to the point I get into the hitting zone and my bat's gonna lag back, right? I'm gonna get my barrel behind the ball, but it's gonna happen quick. On bat drag, it doesn't happen quick. In bat drag also, the barrel will usually get dumped like this, and you'll have to work way up through the zone, too far up through the zone. You'll foul a lot of balls off, you'll be under the ball, you'll swing and miss a lot, you will pop up. Um, typically, not so much to pop up to the infield, but you'll have some like weaker fly balls to the outfield, shallow fly balls. So. Let's start off, let's actually start off with bat drag, and then I'm gonna show you how to get from bat drag to bat lag. Hopefully that makes sense. So what I see happen a lot with bat drag is that this rear elbow wants to get, move this over a little bit, this rear elbow will get forward. It'll lead the swing. When my back elbow leads the swing like this, my barrel gets heavy. So my back arm leads and I lose the barrel back here and now I'm attacking uphill too much so how do I stop that from happening right you can't just say oh don't lead with your rear arm get your rear arm back it's not that easy and so two things first thing is you've got to be able to pull back and get your elbow behind your hands in this position this position see how you can't see my arm now some hitters will be a little bit down like this and some will be a little bit up but it has to get back like this Watch it from this angle. So when I'm ready to hit, I'm in this position. My arm is behind my top hand. Okay, really key. If my arm gets behind my top hand, then when I start to turn palm up, palm down, my arm will naturally start to come under and it gets under my hand. It doesn't get in front of my hand, right? So it's, it's under my hand, not in front of my hand. Okay, so I've got to get pulled back so that I don't get forward. Now watch, that. watch what happens. If I don't get pulled back and my arm is underneath my hand like this, so instead of here, it's here. Now watch it here. It's here. This is the position I see a lot of players get into. If I get here to hit instead of here, well, it makes sense. I'm not getting this up here, so it's not going to time out properly with my swing. If it's only here and then I go, automatically it's going to get in front of my hands right and so now my barrel drags and it drops the more my arm gets out here the harder it is to release the barrel i can't release it until way out here right it's just physically impossible i can't release the barrel until my hand can catch up to my arm watch so i'm here i can't release the barrel until my hand catches up to my arm but my arm's so far out in front, it's gonna take a long time for my hand to be able to get there, to catch up to my arm and then be released. And so you're gonna be constantly late over and over and over again. I see tons of players that are so late to the ball and they don't know why. 
they just think, oh, get started earlier. That's like a, that's trying to put a little Band-Aid over, over an injury that needs surgery, right? And so could that help you a little bit? Yeah, but it's never gonna fix the issue. And so I can't be leading and be late releasing the barrel. And as I said before, when this gets ahead, automatically my barrel drops. I'm not trying to drop my barrel, but when I get here, I don't have any strength to be able to keep the barrel up and behind the ball. Okay, the first big thing, I have to get pulled back. Now the other thing is, you can't be armsy. So what I see some players do is they get pulled back, but then instead of getting palm up, palm down, palm up, palm down, feeling my hands turning the bat, then my arm comes under, they don't use their hands, right? So they might get here, but then they use their arms like this. And so their arm comes like this, but the hands aren't doing anything and the barrel's not going anywhere. I've done all this work and my hands are still way back here. My barrel's done nothing. It just kind of falls behind me like this. What needs to happen is when I say go, my leg's gonna turn, my upper body's gonna work back. We won't talk about that right now, but I have to boom. This has to turn. I have to start getting palm up, palm down. My arm will come under, but now my barrel is starting to turn back. Right? It's starting to turn back. And then because my arm never gets ahead of my hands, I can release my barrel much quicker. So that's bat lag. It's quicker. I can release the barrel earlier. And my barrel supported, not here where it's gonna drop. It's supported, not there, okay? So that's the key. Pull back and then use your hands, turn your hands, feel the barrel or feel the handle in your hands, not arms like this. In my experience, I've talked to a lot of major league hitters. If you ask them, what are you thinking up there? What's the key? A lot of them will say, oh, use your hands, use your hands, use your hands. Some people think of that as like, oh, use my hands, just throw my hands out there. I think they say use your hands because they feel their hands turn them like this and not just flicking out in front like that. So that's turning your hands, getting palm up, palm down. So you can get the barrel in the zone. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that helps you out. If you have more questions, let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification, I'll give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're gonna to wanna to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you wanna go check it out.